helicopters operating just outside Timmins in northeastern Ontario, Canada. What they're doing here could have a worldwide effect on restoring land destroyed by industrial activities such as mining, road construction and pipe laying. Canada is one of the world's leading gold producers and over 50% of the country's gold is mined in Ontario and has been since the early 1900s. It's what those early mines left behind that's the problem. Tailings is basically the, the, um, the waste product after they've ground up the ore, the rock, and extracted the metals. It's basically just ground up rock, rock flour. Um, but unfortunately, the, because the, the grain size is so much finer, um, the surface area is much more available to produce oxidation and, and produce acid drainage like what you can see behind. For Mark Keane, the challenge was to restore land quickly and naturally. The solution was to take microbes that managed to survive on the wasteland, produce huge numbers of them and get them back onto the land either by attaching them to individual seeds or spraying them from helicopters. So we tried it initially on mine sites and we had, it was like night and day, you know, we had trees growing two and three times as fast as non-treated trees. Even better, not only is dead land being brought back to life in a natural way and even encouraging wildlife to return, but the system is also increasing the new vegetation's capacity to absorb and trap greenhouse gas emissions, a rare battle won in the war against climate change. 